Hey everybody. Hey, it's the middle of spring and we need to go find some sunshine and get out of the Seattle gloomy weather. So we are headed over the mountains and going to find a place to run the new RC car that Mike just got and maybe see if we have some adventures along the way. Good hair days, we should film. So, hey everybody, we are here at Reeser Creek, uh, somewhere Mike spent a lot of time as a young adult, maybe a child, mostly just young adult, probably. Young adult, I guess. Yeah. Snowmobiling, and uh, is that all you did up here? Dirt bike riding, maybe? No, we didn't do much this summer up here, just basically snowmobiled up here. Mm -hmm. So, a snowmobiling area. Uh, I've never been here, so it's between Ellensburg and Clay Ellum. And uh, so we're just out exploring and uh, going to see what kind of Jeep roads are around and see what kind of snow we run into and maybe we can make it to the top with no snow. Let's show the one lane road here. Yeah, let's show the one lane road. It's a lovely spring day. Uh, it's a little windy, but about 55 degrees and partly sunny. It is not this nice at home. It was kind of rainy and gloomy and about 50 degrees. So we were glad to get out of town and over the mountains. What is our elevation? 3,100? Um, yeah, 3,100. Well, Almost 3,200. Yeah. Well, we might make it up 6,000, but I think we're going to run into snow before that. This is a pretty easy way to get up to 3,200 feet. It's all paved so far. Too. We're in the valley and all of a sudden we're not. Okay, I'll record the second snow obstacle where I could drive my car through it. <laughs> but you wanted to record the first snow and I went fast and beyond. And you're like, you didn't get a chance to record. You actually, that was actually snow you had oh, to drive over. Crap, we didn't take the chainsaw. We did not grab the chainsaw. Why? I don't know. That is a good question. Well, good let's, thing somebody else had one on hand. Yeah, let's hope we don't need it. I guess we need to have a checklist for the going out in the Jeep. I actually don't have one. I have one for the boat and I have one for camping. So we probably should put together a Jeep checklist. Okay, this is starting to be more serious snow. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to make it to the plateaus. Serious now, people. We're in four low. Maybe. Maybe. No. <laughs> I'm trying to be in four low. Well, I think they slid off the road on both sides. Yeah. So I'm trying to go down the middle. I don't want to avoid both sides. Oh, that's slippery. some air on the tires. I think so, or that might be the end of the line. All right, well, Mike has earned down the tires. Let's see if we can make it anywhere. I was thinking about walking across here to get up on the bank, and then I see there's a big hollow spot in the snow, so I think that might be a good way to get my feet wet. So we're gonna avoid that and just see on the road or thereabouts and try not to get run over. This be a little deep here, huh? Yeah, it's pretty deep. Right there is really deep, and then it kind of shallows up again here. So, but I have a feeling this is just the beginning. He's not wanting to go. There we go. That made a big difference.
<laughs> oh, <laughs> that's deep. <laughs> Looks like I might be hiking up this mountain. We're still in pavement. Look at that. Man, this is a little sketchy. Um, a little bit. <laughs> it's pretty muddy over there, over the banks, so you do not want to get off the road. No, I don't want so I'm going slow. Yeah. All right, we made it to 5,400 feet, and we're gonna check out the road a little further. But if we start going downhill, we're probably not going to do that too much. Whoa. <laughs> Round recalculation. Where's she going? I don't know. Yeah, that is all pretty much solid snow. Yeah. I can put chains on. Uh, it's up to you. Depends on how crazy you want to get with it. We are up here alone. And it will be freezing tonight because it is 43 right now. Why well, they gave up right there? Probably because the reason why we are, because it's endless. So this looks like the end of the line, unless we want to get ourselves in trouble. So there she is on the top of the ridge. Yeah, snow is. It's really hard to walk in. It's very eerie out here. I do not like burn areas. I mean, it opens up the view, but not at that expense. I took a step next to the Jeep and buried myself all the way to my knee. Holy cow. This is crazy out here. I do, want to get, I do not want to get stuck in this in the Jeep. I'm not going to get myself out of here. I don't want to break anything on your Jeep if I grab onto it. Oh, <laughs> oh burr. I have snow in my shoe. I think I already had snow in my shoe. Don't get run over, little guy. <laughs> I like this car, it's good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, you got it. That's like being at the boat. I don't know how they're going to survive in the summer with no shade. Oh, no, they must survive. Or maybe they just make tadpoles and they survive. Quiet it down now they heard us. <laughs> Be quiet, there's people coming. People. Stop talking. Bicycle. Get the road. No AGBs. Oh, it says trail though. It's a trail. 
It's not a Jeep road. No, it's a trail. I'm wondering why it's so narrow. <laughs> We're going for miles up this thing. It looked fine at the beginning. So. Well, it showed up on the map. <laughs> it's on the map right there, look. It is on the map. It's telling us to go down this road. GPS tells us to go this way, we go this way. This is how you get in trouble with your GPS, kids. But we'll follow her. I couldn't find a road on the X off road. There should be a gate down at the bottom. <laughs> it's stuck in here. We have to come back out. <laughs> There's an old cabin. This isn't very well worn. No. Yeah, it might be a miner's cabin. Hmm. Yeah, it shows we're out in the woods. <laughs> yes, it does. It's out in the woods. We're close to where we need to be. There's like an old grade right here. Wow, look at that. I guess these keep going down. Federal Federal mining claim. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. That's an old There's one. a big cement tunnel there. Yeah. Cement oh. round piece there. Yeah, I see that. Huh. Well, I get to see part of the old west. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty well. That is one steep hill. It was definitely steep. It doesn't look that old. <clears throat> what, the road? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a different way in here before. We're about to catch up to our blue line here. Maybe the road is new. Maybe it washed out or that's something. There's a road right there. Okay. Still a primitive road. Yeah. I think we're still on Jeep roads, but at least we're on the main Jeep road. Yeah, there you go. Huh. Don't know how you, oh, you must have had to go down the other road that maybe that had the tree across it. Uh, yeah, they come out on this one. Yeah. We just took a shortcut. Yeah. Alright. That was cool. Well, hopefully, I'm just hoping we don't need a chainsaw. Yeah, that's probably the biggest thing we it might need. It looks like people have been through here. Yeah. But we need to start carrying that. I know. Yes, it's not very well used. We'll see if uh, the Jeep GPS has led us astray or not. That's a big hole. Yeah, watching. You're good. A few inches. Yeah, this is a uh, pretty primitive for uh, GPS routing. See, see all the areas you can camp though? Camp wherever you want out here. That's true. I don't want to camp uh -oh. by that creepy miner's camp. I hope this road does not end. <laughs> look at the grass. It doesn't look good. Oh no. <laughs> I think it's just a mud... But, uh, a... No, the road goes to the right. You sure? Yeah. That is an old road there. Yeah, it is. This is a mud bug. Huh. I'm guessing this is a bypass. I don't know. I don't know either. Well, I mean, worst case, you know, you can always backtrack. Um, I don't think too many people have been down this road. Yeah. Oh, it's sliding a little. You're sliding. You're sliding. Oh, you're still slow sliding. Um, you're about a foot away. Maybe eight. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're gonna. You're sliding. <laughs> uh oh. You want me to get out and push? Crap. We should probably pull that out there. Yeah, I could pull it. Hang on. Can I get out? Yeah, I think I can get out. Yeah, hold on to this part so it don't slide forward. Skinnier part mm -hmm. of it? Just hold on to that. Okay. So, you're going to lift that? Yeah, just keep it from going into the Jeep more. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this does not. It's pretty heavy, I don't know. It's in the fender, too. It's in the fender. Well, can you pop the fender off? Go that way. But. 
we broke this rail. Huh? Oh. Oh, it's moving this way. way. Okay. Um, if you can pull. Now, it does appear to be stuck. <laughs> Hopefully, it goes somewhere. <laughs> I hope so, too. <laughs> this is going to be gnarly to get back up through. This before it got really bad. <laughs> All right, good luck. I think you got this. When you were backing up, you had the emergency brake on? Yeah. I don't think I would have made it. I don't think it was. Spinning. Still spinning. No, you're just spinning. Yeah, it's it's just it's just pure slime. All right, it's gooey, but you're going through it. Up over the little bark, over the branch. Uh, you'll go down into another hole. Right now. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, you're good. <laughs> it looks like y yeah you. You're probably just going to have to stand it until you get around the corner. You mean to hold that? Ooh, that is slimy. You are going sideways, you're doing the crab walk. Ooh. That's <laughs> slippery. <laughs> oh man. That is slick. Man. There's another road? But might not be complete. There's more tracks. At least it's yeah. not just a tractor went up. That was just that guy's tractor. Oh, yeah. Went up through there. Man. And that stuff was so slimy that I almost fell on my butt a couple times. Well, I couldn't steer out of it. Oh, I could tell. You were just crab walking right down the road. Very yeah. slick. This is a little better. <laughs> that was we're actually on a road again. <laughs> <laughs> that was very primitive. That was. Oh, well, we got to uh, see a mine, though. We did. Uh, I'm not complaining. Just, just crazy. I didn't, if I knew it was that slick, I would have just pulled that piece out of the way to begin with. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, the second you started to back up, you just slid right into that ditch. There was no going back. I didn't want to back up going to it fast. I could see it going. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, well. Yeah. Let it stop. That's the situation. Well, even when you're going downhill, you stopped and then it still went over another probably three so, inches. I wasn't sure it was going to stop. 
onto the more real road with actual gravel on it. Mm. We're recording this, I hope. In the past, we know how to get back up through there if we want. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, that way it's not bad. Just got to have branches out of the way. Yeah. You want to see some old mining cabins. I'm not sure we could get up that slick part. Well, we winch up it. We, could we it. would make it up it one way or another. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, if I can't move the tree, I was going to winch the front end up the hill. I think we're just about to the town of Liberty. Do you know anything about the history of Liberty? It's a gold mining town. Okay. It dates back to the early days <laughs> to when there was gold. <laughs> early days. Looks like there's still active mining up above. We went by some mines, which you'll see in the video. Yeah, and then it's like a historic like preservation thing, so people... Way, way back in the day when we were snowmobiling out of this town, there was a little general store and you could buy little chunks of gold. Oh. And I, it seemed to me it was on the right side here. I think there is still a general store somewhere. There is like a one that's got clutter. Like a Salvation Army or something. <laughs> like a Salvation Army. And people here are required to keep their houses looking like it's an are old they? mining town. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. It's like a an ordinance. Uh, that's some kind Let's of store. There used to be a store. That was some kind of little store right there to the left, I think. Because we camped down there and it's on the right yeah. side. There's right back there. a tiny little store, but it's just a it little wide It's a restrooms. <laughs> it's warm sun. I know, it feels good out here. Are you happy with your first Jeep trip of the year? Yeah. <laughs> Except we forgot the saw. We did forget the chainsaw. Next time. And we talked to the manufacturer of our housings here for our side lights, which are clearly now faded. And we're getting new housings. So DNC Designs, doing us right. Because that's first gen, it's plastic. They colored the plastic the same, which plastic fades over time, so it doesn't like the UV. So new ones are painted, so they should hold up for should, the life of the vehicle. Should hold up a lot better, yeah. Yeah, those are looking pretty rough. <laughs> I hadn't really just looked at them lately. You got the top on for summer. I didn't film that. No. I complain. I complain so loudly. I probably shouldn't have filmed that. <laughs> what? About putting the top on. Taking the top off, actually. Then put, putting the top on, I didn't complain yeah, about it. That's part's easy. The hard top. It's just taking, taking the hard top off. I whined and complained until Mike talked me into doing it. It's heavy and awkward. It's not that heavy. It's just awkward. Well, a fun start to the jeeping season out here in eastern Washington and went some places we'd never been. Looking forward to summer. Sure feels good to be out here in warm weather and a little bit of sunshine. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.